I lived with him. I spent my life with him. I fed him, talked to him. I tried to listen to him when he talked. Talked to people who weren't even there. Watching him shuffling around like some ghost. Like a very smelly ghost, because he was filthy. I had to remind him to bathe. My own father. After my mother died, it was just me here. I tried to make him happy no matter what idiotic projects he was doing. And he used to read every day. He kept demanding more and more books. I used to take them out of the library by the carload. We had hundreds upstairs. Then I realized he wasn't reading. He believed aliens were sending him messages through the Dewey Decimal numbers in the library books. He was trying to work out the code. Beautiful mathematics. The most elegant proofs. Proofs like music. Plus fashion tips and knock-knock jokes. I mean, it was nuts, okay? And later the writing phase, scribbling 19, 20 hours a day. I bought him a case of notebooks and he used every single one. I dropped out of school. I'm glad he's dead. I knew something was coming, Olive. I knew we were in trouble. In the middle of the night, I would tiptoe into the bathroom and I would pray, please God, help me change my marriage. Please God, tell me what to do. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me, please help me. Then. I would hear Sydney in the other room saying, please God, make her shut up. Please God, tell her to be quiet. I'm not a complainer. I never once tried to change Sydney. He wears a toupee two sizes too big. He looks like an English sheepdog and I've never said a word.